Ever wondered why Pringles don't come in a bag like other chips? It's not just about style. The unique can designed by Frederick Bauer in the 1960s is part of a carefully engineered process to solve common chip problems like breakage and staleness. Let's take you inside the Pringles factory to see how this snack staple stacks up to perfection. As we step onto the factory floor, a surprising sight awaits. Instead of whole potatoes, we're greeted by a sea of potato flakes. What's the secret behind this unconventional starting point? It's all part of a precisely engineered process that turns these flakes into the uniform crisps we know and love. The journey of a Pringle begins with carefully selected potatoes, but not in the way you might expect. These spuds are thoroughly cleaned, peeled, and then cut into thin flakes. This process is crucial for achieving the unique texture and consistency that sets Pringles apart from traditional potato chips. But here's where it gets really interesting. These potato flakes aren't simply fried as they are. Instead, they're mixed with water and a proprietary blend of ingredients to create a dough. This mixture is the key to Pringles' distinctive taste and texture. It's a carefully guarded secret that contributes to the snack's popularity among consumers. Once the dough is prepared, it's time for shaping. The mixture is pressed into thin sheets using high-precision machinery. These sheets are then cut into oval shapes, affectionately known as dovals in the Pringles world. The accuracy required at this stage is astounding. Each doval must be identical in size and thickness to ensure the final product meets the exacting standards Pringles is known for. You might be wondering why this level of precision matters. Well, it's all about consistency. Every Pringle in a can should provide the same satisfying crunch and flavor. This uniformity is a major draw for consumers and a testament to the engineering prowess behind the manufacturing process. The transformation from potato flakes to dovals is just the beginning of the Pringles journey. Each step in this process is designed with efficiency in mind, ensuring that every aspect contributes to the overall quality of the final product. It's a perfect example of how modern food manufacturing combines culinary art with precise engineering. Interestingly, the intersection of engineering and snack production goes even deeper in the world of Pringles. The cooking machine that plays a crucial role in the manufacturing process was developed by Gene Wolfe, a renowned science fiction writer. This unexpected connection between literature and snack food production showcases the diverse expertise that goes into creating our favorite treats. Those oval potato dough pieces are about to undergo a dramatic transformation. In just 15 seconds, they'll become the perfectly curved chips we know as Pringles. But how does this rapid metamorphosis occur? The secret lies in a unique frying process that's faster than you might expect. The journey from Doval to the iconic Pringle shape is a marvel of engineering and culinary science. At the heart of this process is a specialized machine that molds these flat ovals into the signature saddle shape. This machine, interestingly enough, was designed by Gene Wolfe, a renowned science fiction author. Wolfe's creation was based on an invention by a German scientist, showcasing an unexpected intersection of literature, science, and snack food production. The saddle shape of Pringles isn't just for aesthetics. It's mathematically known as a hyperbolic paraboloid, a term that might sound more at home in a geometry class than a snack factory. This unique curve serves multiple purposes. It enhances the chip's stackability, reduces breakage during transport, and provides a larger surface area for flavoring. It's a perfect example of how form and function combine in food engineering. Once the chips have their distinctive shape, they're ready for frying. This is where the Pringles process really sets itself apart from traditional potato chip production. While most potato chips take several minutes to fry, Pringles are fried for just about 15 seconds. This brief cooking time is crucial to achieving the unique texture and reduced greasiness that Pringles are known for. The quick frying process is a key factor in what makes Pringles different from other chips. By spending less time in the oil, the chips retain more of their original flavor and texture. They also absorb less oil, resulting in a less greasy snack. This is particularly appealing to consumers who are looking for a lighter snack option without sacrificing taste. The engineering behind this rapid frying process is impressive. The chips are moved through the oil on a conveyor system that ensures each chip receives the exact same amount of heat for the precise amount of time needed. 
This level of control and consistency is what allows Pringles to maintain their uniform taste and texture across millions of chips. After frying, the chips are cooled and prepared for the next stage of their journey, flavoring. But before we get to that, let's take a moment to appreciate the ingenuity behind this shaping and frying process. It's a perfect example of how innovative design can solve common problems in food production. The unique shape reduces breakage, the quick frying reduces greasiness, and the consistent process ensures every chip meets the same high standards. This approach to chip production is particularly fascinating for those interested in engineering and manufacturing processes. It shows how applying scientific principles and innovative thinking to everyday products can lead to significant improvements. The Pringles manufacturing process is a testament to the power of precision engineering in creating a snack that's not just tasty, but also a marvel of consistency and design. While the shape and texture of Pringles are crucial, it's the flavor that keeps us coming back for more. Did you know that over 100 Pringles flavors exist worldwide? Let's explore how these diverse tastes are created and applied. The seasoning process for Pringles is as unique as the chip itself. Surprisingly, only one side of each Pringle receives seasoning. This deliberate design choice leads to an interesting effect when the chips are stacked in their iconic can. As the seasoned sides come into contact with the unseasoned sides of adjacent chips, some flavor transfer occurs. This creates a subtle flavor variation that enhances the overall taste experience. The actual seasoning application takes place on a conveyor belt, where a specialized machine applies a precise amount of flavoring to the top side of each chip. This controlled process ensures consistency and taste across millions of chips. The one-sided seasoning approach also reduces waste and allows for more efficient production. Pringles offers an impressive array of flavors, with all flavor development taking place in Battle Creek, Michigan. The brand boasts over 100 flavors, including unique and seasonal options that cater to diverse tastes around the world. This vast flavor portfolio is a testament to the brand's commitment to innovation and meeting consumer preferences. Once the chips are seasoned, they're ready for packaging. The iconic cylindrical can that houses Pringles is a marvel of design in itself. Credit for this innovative packaging goes to Frederick Bauer, who created the design in the 1960s. Bauer's cylinder effectively eliminates the crinkling sound associated with traditional chip bags and has remained unchanged since its inception. The packaging process is a carefully orchestrated operation. The chips are stacked neatly into the cylindrical cans, maximizing space usage and minimizing breakage during transport. Once filled, the cans are sealed with aluminum foil to maintain freshness. But the process doesn't stop there. After sealing, the cans undergo a vacuum sealing process to remove any trapped air, further extending the shelf life of the product. While the Pringles can has been a hallmark of the brand for decades, it's not without its challenges. The traditional packaging consisting of multiple materials has raised environmental concerns due to its difficulty to recycle. In response, Kellogg's, the parent company of Pringles, has begun testing fully recyclable cans in the UK. This move demonstrates the company's awareness of environmental issues and its efforts to address them. One fascinating aspect of Pringles production is the speed at which it occurs. From potato to packaged product, the entire process takes only about 20 minutes. This rapid production showcases the efficiency of modern food manufacturing and the precision engineering that goes into creating these beloved snacks. A Pringles spokesperson once stated, many people think that Pringles are seasoned on both sides. In fact, only the top side gets a sprinkling of seasoning in the factory. This revelation might surprise many Pringles fans and adds an interesting tidbit to the snack's lore.